Welcome to this two-minute techie tip on incognito windows, brought to you by the Lumen Christi Sand Squad, students actively involved in networking and technology. This is Ellie, Francis, and Lexi. And as Sand Squad members, our goal is to establish student-centered learning environments by promoting the transferable skills of creativity, communication, collaboration, and critical thinking. So let's get into it and learn about incognito windows, something you need to know. So the first thing you do is make sure that you're in Chrome. And once you know you're in Chrome, you go to File on the top and hit New Incognito Window. Have you ever been logged into Google Apps account like I am here and a brother, sister, friend, or student, even a teacher, wanted to just either check something in their Google Apps account or show you a document for grading purposes? Your immediately reaction is, fine, but I hate to log out of my account. And then you have to log back in. Well, the Chrome incognito window can help us with this. An incognito window allows two people to be logged into separate Google app accounts on the same computer at the same time. This is how it works. Notice that this only works when the Chrome browser, right there, and within in the Chrome browser. And again, you, we can see that same squad user is logged into their Chrome. I want to log into mine. So we make our incognito window. And you type in Google. You'll then hit sign in and log into your own personal account. So, that's all about our incognito window topic for the Lumen Christi Saint Squad. Thanks for watching this 2 Minute Techie Tip. Remember that with technology we can empower ourselves as learners and remove the limitations of the traditional classrooms and teach and learn in ways previously unavailable.